Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Lucia. We're going to take all day doing this, yeah, you know? We're going to go in five minutes. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Come on. Right. Focus. To the email. To the email. Yeah. Just say go. So what's your name? Hi, I'm Bob Vint. Uh, I'm the restoration architect for San Javier del Bac Mission. And we've been working on this uh, restoration now for a quarter of a century, as surprising uh, as that might seem. But it's been very, very slow going, working with a small crew and a limited budget to tackle one piece of the monument at a time and restore it. Um, we are just about to tackle the last big piece of restoration work on the exterior, which is the east tower of the mission that you can see in the background here. And uh, this tower for 60 years has been underneath a layer of cement, mortar, and plaster, uh, which was put on back in the 1950s in an effort to uh, restore and preserve the mission, thinking that the cement, which would be very hard and durable, would, it, would, it, would it protect the mission. On the, on the other hand, what we found is, over the ensuing decades, that this cement layer is actually causing damage internally. The cement is too hard for the old soft brick that the mission is made of. It separates from the brick by uh, differential thermal movement. Hairline cracks form, uh, which admit water during our infrequent but strong rainstorms. Then you have trapped moisture in the brick, behind the plaster, eating away the uh, historic brick. So what needs to be done is this cement layer has to be removed, which is done uh, very carefully um, by our crew of expert masons. The, uh, um, this concrete plaster is cut into squares with a high-speed handheld grinder, and then the small squares are flaked off with hand tools, so no um, high power tools that could cause vibrations to the structure are used. And then the old brick underneath has to be repaired. Uh, the mortar joints have been eaten away. They need to be repointed with a lime and sand uh, mortar, which is the mixture that we're using. Um, repointing is when you put back that which is missing. Some of the bricks will have to be replaced because they've deteriorated to the point where they're just powder. Sometimes our mason, uh, Danny Morales, will open up a piece of wall and then just red dust pours out. So you've got this hollow structure. So they'll scrape out the brick to a point where it's solid, substitute a new uh, burnt adobe brick, which we're getting from Mexico, from Kirobabi Sonora, set in a lime and sand mortar. Uh, once that repair is done, the repointing and the brick repair, um, our crew will then re-plaster with a lime and sand mix. No cement, no Portland cement. Lime being a softer, more traditional um, cementing material. We're also adding to the mortar and the plaster both this traditional ingredient, which is the baba de nopal, or the nopal uh, cactus mucilage. This is added as an adhesive. It's also added as a fluidifier for the mortar and plaster. The masons say it handles a lot better than uh, without. And it also helps the mortar and plaster to cure uh, more gradually. It doesn't dry right away. And this is the way lime uh, plaster cures. It has to dry slowly as it recombines with carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to form calcium carbonate. Because you start with quick lime, which is calcium oxide. You make calcium hydroxide by mixing with water. You mix it with sand and you put it on the wall. At the end of the cycle, it's back to calcium carbonate, which is limestone, mm -hmm. where it all began. So it's this uh, uh, 